The bad old days at the Saxon Park Apartments. Cops looking for crack cocaine were regular guests. If you couldn't make five arrests here a day, it was a bad day. But on this day, Officer Ted Caracciolo watched the Yahweh's roll up, move in, and clean out the apartments here. And the Yahweh's say when they're done fixing the place up, it won't just house Yahweh's, but they won't just rent to anyone either. We will have a very carefully screened um, application form that will um, determine people who are free from drugs and free from alcoholism. Tenants had been moved out before the Yahweh's began their work, though church officials are hazy on just how the evictions were done. But they clearly wanted to avoid scenes like this last fall when the Yahweh's bought and then surrounded a drug-ridden Opalaka complex. Residents jeered and complained of intimidation. Two of the loudest complainers were found shot dead the next morning. A Yahweh member since cut off from the church was charged with the killings. But Yahweh's who used to be secretive now invite the media along to show off their good works. They offer before and after pictures of urban renewal Yahweh style. Wall to wall carpet, and if you would follow me into the master's bedroom. These units just renovated by the Yahweh's will be rented fully furnished for $500 a month. Pretty pricey for this Liberty City neighborhood, but it is making converts here. When they first came honestly, I say, uh, Yahweh, go home, Yahweh, you know, you go your way, I go my way. But now... I love them, why not? Because they is, they're really fixing it up nice, right? And cops, usually suspicious of the Yahweh's, are happy to see the work at Saxon Park. It's 100% turnaround so far. Nick Bogert, News 4.